Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will show you how you can uh, play around with the digital elevation model in the uh, in the RGL shape. Okay, so I will load my digital elevation model here. So this is my area of interest digital elevation model. You can see this tool enable disable hill shading. You can you can see here the hill shades. What does actually the hill shade mean? The hill shade means this darker side, the this darker uh, shade of the hill. You can see here, so it uh, gives the appearance of 3D looks in the digital elevation model. For example, let me uh, deactivate this tool, so you will see the digital elevation model uh, just like a plane, like this. So you can see now the digital elevation model is just like a raster plane, plane raster. Now again let me enable it. Okay, so you can see it here. To play around with this gel shading tool, uh, you can see the tool uh, on the left hand side of the gel uh, shading tool show dynamic gel shading tools like this. Okay, here you can see your digital elevation model. Now here it says ambient lightning from 0 to 100 you can vary it the brightness. This is the dim side and this is the bright. Now let me make it dim. And here it's been, uh, uh, you can increase the brightness to 100. So here you can adjust it the, the brightness of the digital elevation uh, model or the hill shade of the digital elevation model okay you can also uh, uh, play with the vertical exaggeration now let me exaggerate it so it will exaggerate it and when I, I apply it and when I see uh, see it in the uh, 3D, it will, uh, the vertical height will be exaggerated. You can also make it flat like this. Okay. Uh, you can also increase the shadow darkness, uh, and also you can lighten it. This shadow, dar uh, the shadow uh, darkness. Okay. Now make let me make it light. Here you can see it. Like this. So you can play around with this and highlight from direct light. You can see it like this. Okay. You can also change the elevation display or export units, metric, uh, and also the feet. Okay, you can also use multiple light sources, and you can also you, now you can see here the light is uh, with the altitude of uh, forty-five, and with the azimuth up. 45, as, uh, 45 uh, just like the altitude. Here you can see this is the north side, this is the north, this is east, south and west. So here this light is with the altitude of 45 degree and with the azimuth up uh, all, uh, also with the 45 degree. So with the 45 degree you can see here the, the sun is from this side. So the shade has been formed on the opposite side of the, uh, the uh, on the uh, direction of uh, sunlight, which is 45 degree. So now let me change the azimuth to this side. I, I, I want to uh, change the sun azimuth to this side so that 
I could see the you will uh, you will see the hill shed or the shed on this uh, right side of the hill. To make it like this, I will add one eighty degrees to the forty five degree. Now let me calculator. Add 180 to 45, which is equal to 225. Now let me write it 225 here. So here you can see the uh, sun has blue chain in the opposite direction from the first direction. Now you can apply it. Here you can see the shade has been uh, conver uh, converted or, uh, to the another side. Now let me again show, show it to you for the category and apply it. Here you can see the changes. Now again, let me show you. So like this you can uh, play with these options. Uh, you can also use multiple light now we are using one light source and blending is average. Now you can also use multiple light sources from the same direction. Click, uh, check it and define the sources. Now you can set the azimuth as well as the light sources. For example, let me make it two. And you can also make it maximum, minimum, weighted average. I will choose average. Now OK and apply it. So you can see here the changes with the, uh, the digital innovation model. Now again, let me make it one. Then I will use only one source of light. Okay. So this is how you can uh, play with the digital innovation model uh, in shape. Now to change the color styling of this digital innovation model, now click here, the Atlas shader. Now you can use the color range this is the, the color range here are already defined daylight shader gradient shader hsv like this you can use different for slope direction shader this this will show you where the slope is towards uh, in which direction the slope is so you can see here the slope direction shader ndvi shader NW, NTWI shader, it will show this like water. Curvature shader, it will show here the curvature is high and here is low. And custom shader. So you can use also custom shader. How you can use it? Now let me show you. Here you can use custom shader. Uh, for this, uh, to change the color shader, first. initialize from the other shader. You can also initialize it from the palette file if you if you have from the surfer CRL file as well as to uh, save it and uh, also you can use initialize from HyperHCF file but I will use from the other shader uh, and I will use the global shader okay this is actually the global shader now you can choose uh, the color for example let me make it uh, give it another color like um, for example I will change this color uh, this is actually the zero and this is minus uh, a negative 5000 meters now let me change the color of this um, choose the color you can ch uh, change the color from here select it and now change the color I'll make it this one and also let me change the it to the color color 500 let me make it this one it will not look good but I, I just want to show you how actually this tool works or uh, let me make it red okay Now click OK. 
can apply it. So you, here you can see how you can define the, uh, the shader for your digital elevation module. And if you don't need uh, all these changes, so restore the defaults, you can restore it. And for this, I will choose the Atlas shader. So you can see, you can restore the default as well. 